Hi, hello, how are you? Today I'm trying out Cave Blazers, the Spelunky inspired roguelike like by the Yog by the Yogs cast. I think they're the guys who do a bunch of uh, Minecraft videos. I've played this for like five seconds just to get my video set up and I'm really into it already. It's got a it has definitely got a real Spelunky vibe to it. Uh, especially the original Spelunky, the um, what was it? The one, the one that was a freeware game and was all pixelated and 16-bit like this. Ah, I keep, but it's not entirely like Spelunky, and I keep thinking I can jump on stuff or he can, or he can uh, just like walk into it. I don't know why I would walk into things in Spelunky. That wouldn't go well. It's way more, uh, way more combat focused. Then, um, shoot, what the hell was that? It just blew up. It got me, got me good. It's way more combat focused than, uh, the other, ugh, the other game, than Spelunky is. It's a bit like Terraria, almost. Oh, hey, cool, I've got bombs. How do I, how do I select these? Right, I've got them. Um, I thought that would, do oh no, I've got it, I got it. I did it. Alright, I'm working it out. It's, uh, hold left because I'm using a gamepad because I didn't like using the directional keys on the keypad to fire my bow. I thought a stick, the control stick would be easier for that purpose and it seems to be. Uh, yes but it was hold left trigger and then use the right stick to select the form and then just let go. I was trying to press a button. Oh god. Oh he's a friend. He's a friend. That guy's a friend. He's like a ninja monk friend. I keep thinking that boulder's gonna roll somewhere because of Spelunky boulders. They do that. Oh god, I thought the bat was dead. I think things have hit points. It's very RPG like. Yeah, there, there was definitely hit points there. We got damage numbers. It's not just hit something and it dies. And I got some elven bread. Get Legolas up in here. How do I pick this up? Ah, oh, it's one of the one of the shoulder buttons. I gotcha. Is this guy following me, or is he just like jumping around? Is this guy on my side as well? Have I got like two people with me now? You can get, uh... What's this? Enemies have a chance of exploding when killed by a ranged attack. Is this a permanent power-up, or is it a temporary power-up? I really want someone to blow up now. Like that! Boom! Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure what I'm doing with the game, because I did I did skip the tutorial and I'm prone to doing that. I'm really pro <laughs> I'm really prone to skipping tutorials uh, just to get into the game quicker and then wondering what the hell I'm doing for a while. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Spelunky approach to it. Just keep going through the doors. If you haven't seen the trailer for this, and I will link the trailer in the description, you need to go watch it because the trailer I don't know whether it's uh, me being a sucker for the oi mate uh, British accent, I'm not even sure if it's a British accent, I'm terrible with accents. And I, I am British if you haven't picked that up, so I'm so bad with accents I can't even pick up accents in my native country. <laughs> but if you haven't seen the trailer for this game, it's brilliant, it's just a, what's this, battle brew. Well, I don't know what that did, is that something I can use? Oh, I've got is this bread? Oh. That that was the elven bread that I picked up earlier. Right. Yes, but the trailer for this game, what just happened? Me melee hit attacks hit nearby enemies for half the damage. I really hope these are permanent and not just like temporary power-ups. But the trailer for this game, and I am going to finish saying it this time, is a... <laughs> it's just a guy with a really oi mate sort of British, maybe British accent. Uh, describing what he's up to, and it's it's fantastic. It's so funny, I, and it's probably just me finding it funny. It's probably not all that funny. Oh, shoot. Is that guy a friend or not? I can't work it out. He's got a claw like the. Uh, no, he's not a friend. I was gonna say he's got a claw like those treasure chest things. Wow, I'm really hurt. How do I use my inventory? I know I can. Ah, here we go. Ah. Uh, Increases my maximum health and restores 10 health. I will take it. Is this guy a friend? Oh god, no. Not a friend. None of them are friends. 
I parried that guy. That's locked and good. I'm so nearly dead though. I only have 30 life left now. When I played my little uh, video test game, I managed to find like a bunch of equipment and magic items and all sorts. And now I'm just like running around with the base equipment and I've been playing easily twice as long. Stay away! Stay away! Not like this! Oh, and if I can not- Oh, God! God dang it! I was about to say, if I can avoid those spikes. I think I got like target fixation. Just because I was thinking about avoiding them, I jumped on them. I was trying to grab whatever that was. Oh, dang. Well, it's not over until it's over. Here we go again. Maybe I'll get some magic gear this time. I love the music. The music's really peaceful and chill. I'm all about it. And I got an orange potion. I'm already doing better than before. Second time lucky. You know what they say. That's a thing, right? If third times are lucky, then second times have to be at least half as lucky. I mean, if the first time is zero lucky, and the third time is lucky, then second time is 50% lucky. That's just mathematics. That's science. Science, bitch. Ah. Oh, I got a beige potion. Oh, I remember this. I remember a feature about the game now. Uh, some of the potions, or rather, it seems many of the potions, you don't know what they do. So you just drink them, and you get max health. That's good. It's all about the good effects. You get rage, and uh, you get cursed. That sucks. Oh, what's with this? Ascending blessing. Life drain blessing. Blessing of the ballista. I'm going to get ascending blessing. Let's do it. Jumping up. Increase your number of jumps by one. That's fantastic. I was hoping it would be something like that. Let's do this. Get some. Yeah. Already. It's already going so much better. Look at this jumping little bastard. He's so hoppy. Hop, hop. I'm thinking these effects must be permanent, given how easy it is to die. Wow. He blew up. I think he took the treasure chest with him. Huzzah. I, meant, I think I meant to say chopped. I had like a complete word malfunction then. I want to jump up there and wall bounce. There we go. I just smash everything. Is this some kind of protective enchant? Yep. I almost missed that goblin. Almost didn't see him. I keep thinking I can interact with these flags. Like smash them. But... Oh, melee weapon 5 to 7 compared to like 9 to 11. Oh, this isn't great. Does it have a longer range though? No, that's terrible. Why would I switch? I'm going to stick with my steel sword, thanks very much. And, just to... Uh, just because I got such a crappy weapon and I'm feeling, I'm feeling like the game owes me something now. Oh crap. I spent too long talking. I was trying to bomb them both. Here you are. Let's do this. Yeah. I've got the skills. You can't you can't touch this. Other references. Oh shoot. Oh, I thought I jumped on them again. Is this this guy's a friend. He didn't hurt me. That's cool. Is he gonna follow me now? I'm sure I'm sure I heard that the guys follow you when you find them, but I haven't seen that yet. Ooh, power-ups. I want power-ups. As soon as I die, I'm gonna really miss this double jump. I'm already really used to it. The regular jump seems really crap now. Can I have the red apple? Thank you. Oh. The combat seems very, uh, almost heal miss because you kind of just have to spam the button. I'm sure there's maybe some tactics to it, but not that I know. What's this? Uh, damage dealt with this weapon charges your magic item faster, and it appears to be stronger. No, it doesn't. It appears to be weaker. But it's got magic damage, so maybe it's not crap. Although it couldn't smash open the chest in one go, so... I don't know. I'm in two minds about it now. I don't even have a magic item to charge up, so... Oh god, yeah, this is terrible. Let's switch back. Let's switch back. Gold? Crown ring? 
solid gold ring that causes your heavy attacks to stun target. I will have it. Oh, am I paying money here to get this stuff? Alright. And this is awesome. It's slow, but it does way more damage. Alright, I'm down with it. Yeah, so at the shrines, you pay money to get upgrades. And I need to just press down, not jump at the ledges. Ta. Yeah, too good at this game. Can't touch me. I'm going to go die now. I've, I've only got 33 life. I'm definitely going to die. Cool, that's 73 life. Will this guy follow me? Or do I need to get another guy in level 2? Yeah, I know. He's followed me. Awesome. The incredible duo. I'm just going to sni snipe the slime because they are a little unpredictable with their jumps and I don't want to. I miss the Spelunky bats. They're really predictable. These ones do those little dashes at you. So suddenly they're on you like a lot faster than you thought they would be. And that's an ore. I thought it was, I thought it was some kind of like treasure block. I like my guy. My guy is doing a better job at killing than I am. And I'm okay with that. I am not threatened. My masculinity is is fine. I I'm happy to let some guy kill stuff for me. I mean I'm I'm the employer. I've I've clearly hired him to do this work for me. This is this is what you get. You get in a capitalist society. You get the people who can afford to pay, taking none of the risks, whilst you get the peons, the uh, just do taking all the risks. And is it is it good? No, it's not great. But that's the way of things. I'm just talking a bunch of nonsense now. <laughs> uh, golden quiver for 14 gold? Yes, please. Oh, that's not 14 gold. That's 14 something. I can't even read it. Blessing of endurance. Bullseye blessing. Tesla blessing. I feel like the first two make more sense, but Tesla blessing sounds way more fun. So let's try that. Once every 10 seconds, fire a lightning bolt when using your ranged weapon. 10 seconds seems really slow. There we go. Alright, that wasn't bad. Killing two enemies will increase my maximum health. That's very interesting. It does seem to be uh, quite few, um, few and far between the blessings. And they seem to be quite slow to activate. Which sucks. Oh, and I just lost max health for drinking a potion. See, some of the potions have negative effects, so you have to be careful about when you're using them. Well, not when you're using so much as you just have to get lucky. You can't really do anything. Oh, I can't shoot the angle. I can shoot straight down here on the edge. Oh, well, my guys already killed them and I didn't notice. I was too busy. <laughs> I was too busy trying that shoot the edge thing. That's interesting. Oh, and it's a magic item. How do I use it? Um, I don't know what button it is to use the magic item. Now I do. I've looked it up. But I, I can't do it right now. I think I need to let it charge. Oh, I've got another guy. I've got another uh, random human guy following me. He's got like a floating skull or something. Huh. I still don't know how to use my magic items. Do I have to kill stuff to recharge them? Oh, it looks like I do. There's like some coloration there from fighting. Uh, I can't. The angle is making it really difficult to shoot this guy. Yeah, that's it. I'm just going to let him jump and then I'm going to move over. Oh, my lightning ball uh, attacks nearby things. It's like ball lightning. Yeah, I think I, I think I have to kill stuff to charge my magic. So, not just wait for it. So, I will just carry on and I will kill things. And remember that this is a boss zone. I remember this from the trailer. This is a... Oh, God. It's a worm. And... Uh, I, I don't swing that way. Actually, I do. But it's just a dumb thing. You say that. Uh, 
Uh, I'm reminded of the Destroyer from Terraria. Was it the Destroyer or the Mechanical Worm? I think there were two separate bosses. Oh god, I'm definitely reminded of the Destroyer. He shot like laser. He shot laser um, orbs off him. Also, this guy seems to be very inaccurate. Oh no, my magic's charged. Let's do this. That was quite effective for this boss. Hit all the segments. Ah, uh, he's shooting me, he's shooting me. And somehow, okay, I jinxed it, but I was about to say somehow I've been dodging them. Yeah, I really want to punch him, but it seems dumb to punch him. Although it doesn't seem to be hurting me to be inside him. Uh, obligatory, that's what he said. Okay, yeah, it does. I'm getting hurt. Oh, shouldn't have been standing there. Just need to keep shooting the guy. Just need to keep shooting the guy. Am I going to kill a boss on my first go? Let's find out. Ah, I, this is a terrible place to stand. Oh. <laughs> he just stopped standing in the middle of them. It's a very bad place to stand. Yep. I'm down. I'm dead. But I almost got him to half health. And at the end of the day, isn't that why we're here? To get bosses to half health? That's the objective. What is he doing over there? He's all stuck. He's doing like a worm jiggle. What's this archer perk I just unlocked? Can I have a perk from the start of the game now? I've got a guy over there. Is he, is he gonna do anything? He's very slow to talk. His name's Barry, but I can call him Fergus. What? Get to the point, Barry slash Fergus. I hate cutscenes that lock you in place while they just keep talking and keep talking. And they take forever. Let me read at my own pace. What do you what do you even want? What are you talking about? Something's broken? Outfitter? Perk. Okay, so I can start the adventure is what I started with, where I start with my apple and two bombs. And now I can start as an archer. Which means I will not start with my apple and two bombs, but much, much faster on the old bow. On the old bow shots. Bow arrows. Bow barrow von barrow. Alright, one more run. We'll do one more run. Feeling good about this run. I'm going to kill the worm. I, I already missed my apples. I feel like I should have kept the apples. I need, the, I need the life. I missed my double jump. That's for sure. Ah, and they blow up. I've already forgotten they blow up. Absorb the souls of nearby dead things. Each soul temporarily increases your damage by two. Absorbing five souls at once will give you a permanent stat boost. That's interesting. I'm not much of an archer. I seem to be... <laughs> oh, so the spikes affect other guys as well. I'm not much of an archer. I seem to still be using my melee weapon more than anything. Sticky bombs, always appreciated. Come on, just get in the line of fire. It's almost like you don't want to die. Stupid smart enemies. Get hit, get some. Oh, I can't double jump. I keep trying to double jump. Oh, I'm getting so more, so much more accurate with the shots. Well, there, <laughs> there goes me feeling uh, pleased with myself. Look how injured I am, and I don't have apples. Uh, I need some. I need a bunch of apples. Oh god, one more hit is gonna kill me. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So I have to activate it to do it. I really don't want to go near the bat. The bat is gonna kill me. I 
keep thinking I kill everything in one hit, like in Spelunky. Well, most things in Spelunky. So, what's this do? Wait, is this a weapon? Oh, it gives me another ring slot. Why does it give me another ring slot? But it's slightly longer range. I'm down with this. Ah, stay away everything. I'm surprised I'm not dead seeing as I've been on four life for like quite a while now. Oh crap, I dropped the bomb at my feet. That wasn't smart. I meant to throw it. Ah, oh, so dumb. I'm such a dumbo. I can do it. I can do it. I can kill them both. I just need to not blow up on the blow up you guy and get cornered in here. Oh god. I'm so stuck. I'm so burned. As soon as one of them gets in here. Yeah, I'm dead. I thought that would be it. Uh. Hey, but I unlocked a wide green hat. That's something.